Right, Gary has left his post as manager at Dundee. About an hour after winning manager of the season, Dundee retweeted that he won manager of the season. And then, like, it wasn't even an hour later, it was about 50 minutes later, I was like, aye, Dundee have announced that Gary Barr is leaving the club. So, it's less than a week after their title win, of course, which was an absolutely epic game between Queen's Park and uh, Dundee. Of course, Dundee won 5 3. Which therefore they got promoted to the Premiership. But like it may seem like a shock, but a lot of people thought this would happen. And no one's actually really surprised. The more surprising thing about it is is the fact the timing like straight after um the uh the, the whole award getting given to him. But as we read that Scary Barr has left his post as Dundee manager less than a week after leading the club to the Scottish Premiership, former Blackburn Rovers, Blackpool and Salford City boss Barr took charge last June and guided Dundee to the Scottish Championship title on a dramatic doomment on Friday. Dundee said they are grateful, but now is it not? And now is the time for certain days. We enter a critical summer. Barr, 51, he's 51, I thought he looked older than that, had been linked with a return to Blackpool. Um, given the importance of the weeks and months ahead, I felt it was necessary to ensure we all aligned on a direction needed to ensure the club is ready for its return to the Premiership, said Managing Director John Nelms. Former Scotland Manager Gordon Strachan, and Dundee's Technical Director, will lead the search for a replacement with former St Johnston Manager Callum Davidson among those rumoured to be in contention. Barr's assistant, Bally Barr, has also left the club. It, it's a weird one. Like, uh, it's weird that he would leave as soon as they get to the Premiership. <sighs> Don't, it is very weird, like, I don't understand why he's like Blackburn, former Blackburn Rovers, Blackpool, and he went to a Scottish Championship job, like, no offence to Dundee, but Scottish Championship, if this guy's a resume like Blackburn Rovers and Blackpool, surely maybe he could get a better job than Dundee in the Championship, I think once you're in the Premiership, fair enough, but I'm surprised he hasn't stayed, but I guess it is what it is, and we, we, we move on, but who are they going to get, Calum Davidson, I mean, he has, like, the first name that always rings the bell. Robbie Nielsen. Could Robbie Nielsen go to Dundee? Not too sure. It's a weird one. Where's Robbie Nielsen going to go? It feels like Robbie Nielsen was going to be a part of Scottish football for a while with Hearts after he returned, because, of course, he was Hearts, Dundee United, then back to Hearts. But now, Robbie Nielsen's at the door. Gary Barr was about to join the Premiership, and he's went, nah, I fear Dundee United. I fear Dundee. Well, I say he fears Dundee United. Dundee United might not even be in. The Premiership, of course, last night we had a lot of action, so make sure you go check out. There are a few Queen's Park getting pumped by Partick Thistle 4 3. We had Airdrie pumping Falkirk 6 2. We had who beat, who beat them Barton 6 0. I can't even remember who beat them Barton 6 0, man, but an absolutely insane scoreline that was. But we'll be back later, guys, with more content. But big Gary Barr, what a man, the myth, the legend, he got them promoted. Personally, I feel like Dundee should never have took it to the last day against a Queen's Park team that, I mean, any time I've watched Queen's Park at the back defensively, holy God, man, they are bad. They are very, very bad. But anyway, Troops, till next time, leave your thoughts down below. Oh, and guess what? Are we obsessed about talking about Dundee? Oh, we must be Dundee United fans. Oh, that's a, a, wee, a, wee, a wee shot to all the, the obsessed Celtic fans. We don't get it.